Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be testing the uh, Lazorb uh, EST protection device from uh, Pangolin Laser Systems. As you can see right here, we have a Blu-ray laser diode, 405 nanometers. As you all know, this is this device is very static sensitive, and uh, today we're going to see how well it upholds to a uh, couple of ESD discharges. Uh, if you take a close look here. This right here is the laser diode, and as you can see, the uh, little board at the end right there is the laser orb device. And uh, from here, the two red and black wires go to the laser diode driver, which is going to be powered by a battery, just because we're not testing the driver circuitry for ESD protection, we're testing the diode. So, that's the way it's set up here. From here, where we have a grounding lead, as you can see right here, runs all the way to normal electrical ground and uh, that will be the uh, path in which the ESD is going to take through the diode and uh, through the laser orb. So, the, uh, right now we're in uh, my copier shop and this is our dry room. Uh, we use this room for uh, uh, changing developers and uh, uh, it's good to keep them dry so uh, that's why uh, the humidity in here is uh, zero percent. Um, the way I'm going to create static today is with a vacuum cleaner and developer. And uh, essentially I'm going to be turning myself into a Vandy graph generator by uh, vacuuming up a uh, developer and basically the hose uh, then uh, charges me up like the top load of a Vandy graph and uh, I will be shocking the diode. The first thing we're going to do is take the ground lead and we're going to attach it to the anode of the laser diode. I will now uh, go to the schematic diagram of how the diode is wired and I'll be back in a second. Okay, now we've seen the schematic diagram of how the uh, diode is wired and uh, I'll go ahead and zap it. I'm going to have to turn on the vacuum cleaner here just for a second so it's going to get loud. Okay, so now I'm basically charged with static electricity. I'm going to zoom in here, go over here and touch the laser dot. Ow! And we zapped it, and you can see that the uh, diode is still working. We're going to go ahead. Okay, now we have the uh, ground hooked up to the cathode of the laser diode, as seen here. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and charge myself up one more time. I can feel all my hair standing up now, so we'll probably get a better shock this time. Ow! And as you can see, the diode still works. Amazing. 